In the beginning of the project, uh, we started with a very simple approach, which at, at its most basic element is we need to have um, moving image cameras and still cameras to document this event. And from that, it developed into what we have today, which is a very sophisticated system that's capable of three channels of live broadcast back to the earth, high definition recording, beyond high definition recording with 4K electronic cinematography cameras, and um, a system that basically is a flying television studio. Well, the 15 cameras that will be on board the capsule on the Red Bull Stratus program makes it a floating movie studio. The only way we will really know what Felix experienced with those cameras that will be taking the pictures of him as he falls away and the three cameras that will he have on his body. Camera systems are radically different than when Joe Kittinger did his jump in 1960. He used uh, spring-wound motion picture cameras and uh, Ken Arnold, his cinematographer, used hot water bottles taped to the sides of the cameras to keep them from freezing up. It was remarkable when you think about it, there was three cameras uh, with, little, with no experience whatsoever on how to set them. The f-stop, the shutter speed, the film speed. Uh, it just showed the genius of the technicians that were on my team. We used uh, 16 millimeter uh, gun cameras for uh, two or three of the places and then we used some uh, 35 millimeter uh, single frame cameras to take care of pictures of Joe as they were uh, ascending. And then I used some 70 millimeter P2s that were on the bottom of the gondola that took pictures of uh, Joe as he fell away from the gondola. When Joe did his jump, the simplicity of his system ensured that pretty much everything was going to work. Our system being more complex will get much more vibrant footage, more angles, more coverage, uh, but we also have to cover more failure modes to make sure that this complex system will continue to operate uh, throughout the hostile environment of space. Some of the tough parts of sending this many cameras uh, up on the capsule is that in addition to acquiring the cinematic footage, you need those cameras to work. You, you don't want them to fail. So we approach that two ways. One is we modify some of the cameras to operate in space. Uh, the other way is some of the cameras are so complex or require cooling fans that they actually go inside a pressurized enclosure that's filled with nitrogen gas. We've had to modify these so that they were uh, uh, remote controllable so that from mission control we could start and stop these recorders. And then the other modification is we've constructed and designed uh, circuitry that in the absence of these remote controls from the ground, Felix is able to simply cycle the power and every recorder defaults to being in the record mode. Not only is this footage important from an entertainment standpoint, it's very important from the learnings that come from this type of footage. The better the quality images, the more we give the scientists to look at later and analyze. We're gonna be able to document the whole experience for the world to see going up, standing up and jumping, and then free falling. It's gonna be, be a very wonderful experience for the world to share the Felix experience as he free falls.